little update on uh, the status of parts here, what we're experiencing in the industry. We've got over 20 converters on the table here that are waiting on these. <clears throat> Every one of those is waiting on a stator race that uh, specific to the kit it uses. But they've been, they've been here for well over a week, probably about two weeks, most of them, waiting on this one part. <clears throat> you know, we've got all the billet covers, got the billet pistons, got the clutches, got impeller hubs, got turbine hubs welded in most of the turbine sides. Everything's ready, you know, for each individual customer. And we're stuck because we're waiting on these. From two different, two different suppliers, we've been waiting on these for quite some time. So... Stuff like that's extremely frustrating for us because we just want to get this stuff out the door to you guys, the customers, but we can't do it without the parts. And we make a lot of our own parts here, but there's no reason to tool up. It would take months to tool up to make several hundred of these. You know, get the material, which is a problem right now. Then we can machine these and broach these and send them out for heat treat, and then they'd have to be ground. And all of that would be a waiting game. <clears throat> so we're not gonna to try to make the one part just to fill an order. We're, just, we're at the mercy of the industry to get that stuff to us so that we can uh, get it out of here, get it to you. But that's, that's a constant. <clears throat> Almost everything we're building here, there's usually some little part that's holding us up. Uh, we're back to reverse bands and 400 to 480 being an issue right now, looks like. <clears throat> looks like they're going to be a shortage for a little bit. <clears throat> so just to give everybody kind of an update, stuff we deal with. <clears throat> 